going to be an opportunity for Portugal to have a game where there really is nothing to lose here. Mm. And that is the psychological advantage that they have over the Netherlands. But that's not an ideal start. A horrid delivery, one that you're almost ending up pleased to only concede the wide from. Shorter and straight to backward point. That's out. And Musa Ahmed can't believe what he's just done. The Netherlands 11 are one for one, and it's a two ball duck for the man who just weeks ago was making an ECS century. Nicked away through third man. Well, that's a somewhat fortuitous way for Floyd to open his ECS runs. It's a quicker ball. And just turned away through fine leg for four. That's a clever shot from Floyd, just going with the angle of the delivery. Steps down the track, Gawley, but he's completely miscued it. And that's out. The unbeaten half centurion in game one against Romania goes here for just a single. And the Netherlands are 14 for two here. Yeah. This one has been played beautifully and the fielders, you can see they, they're getting, they're trying to put the squeeze on the Netherlands. Better delivery and, well, it's a nice shot. This one's very slow, but it's been picked up nicely, fielded, giving it chase, but he's not going to get to it. So three and three. Oh, that is absolutely smashed. That is out of here. That's gone a good 10 metres back over the straight boundary. And he's in great form here. He's on to 19 off six. Goes again this time, baseball style down the ground. That one's through long on for four more. And that is an absolute monster of an over for the Netherlands. Short, hit straight up. Oh, and fine, they're coming round, can't quite get there. Down the ground, and that is absolutely belted. Well, he just loves that region, Lubbers, over long on. If you give him anything straight in his arc, it's out the park. Shakalagia. Cuts away, and Floyd will get four through backward point. Too short and too wide. Good shot for four. Well, that's short again, and it's getting the treatment again, this time down the ground. It's fielded out. In the deep long on rope, but unfortunately for Portugal, not by one of their fielders, but by one of our European Cricket Network staff members behind the scenes. And that is never a good sign if you are the fielding team. As for now, Amir Zaib starts by getting thumped straight and that will be six more. Well, 50 meter boundaries are pretty unforgiving. I don't actually think Victor Lubb has got this cleanly. Shorter, and that's picked up the man. And gone, quarter deep mid wicket. Well, he's played so well, Lubbers, and he'll be absolutely kicking himself. He's been hitting pretty much everything he's faced for four or six. As Floyd goes leg side, and has got enough of it as well. That's six over mid wicket for Clayton Floyd. And this time it's over pitched. And Brat has absolutely slammed that for six. Well, that is the Sebastian Bratt that we know and love from when he stepped out earlier against Romania and hit his first two balls for six. Bratt hasn't quite got all of this. And he's gone. That's a really crucial breakthrough for Portugal. One of the big hitters of this Netherlands 11. It's gone without causing them too many dramas. It is six and out for the captain Sebastian Bratt. Jabbed away by Zulfikar, who will get a four from his very first delivery, the wicketkeeper batsman, just by secting the gap perfectly. From big, big stages before, but quite the opposite. And right now, they're enjoying life on this big stage, and they've just added six more to their tally. To get yourself some of those fantastic jerseys. This one's up in the air. This could be a chance, and he's got to take his time, and he does. He goes a long way up. Well. It's another wicket, and one thing that Portugal will keep on doing. I mean, I know that the Netherlands is part of the Blue Army. As that could be out. Very, very good, good Yorker, that's out. Yeah. Well, that is perfect from Zaib. He picks up his third wicket, and Portugal are doing their best to keep the Dutch in check here. It's a good arm wrestle here. 94 for six. 
So Fikaz completely mistimed this. Andy perishes. They've lost a seventh. While Portugal do pick up yet another wicket. A second for Shazad. Oh, but he's nicked down and he's gone. So it's a quick innings for Julian Demay. He's out for one of two. And the Netherlands are collapsing, I think we can fairly say now. They're 99 for eight. Shorter. And Edmonds completely miscued that. And it's yet another wicket. So one of the favourites for this competition might well be getting bowled out. Imran Khan starts off by getting absolutely luckless. Short. Chance to take the catch and end it. And taken. Well, that is an exceptional effort from Portugal. The Netherlands are bowled out for 110 with one ball of the inning spare. Khan picks up a wicket as well. And the Dutch camp just look maybe a touch frustrated. Again, we haven't seen the best of them with the bat. 110 all out to go with 96 for free against Romania early on. Both in the power play or the death. It's a nice looking drive from Sean Gomez. They both ended up at the same end. Oh. And a direct hit is out. This is an absolute calamity. Well, that is ridiculous. Imran Khan ran all the way down. Sean Gomez didn't move. It's exceptional work in the field from the Netherlands 11. Well, they might have a wicket here. The they won't Dutch. be out. Won't be out. Free hit, remember? It's a free hit, so they do get the single. Glad someone's here to keep me sane. So, he's uh, got away with that somewhat. I know Ryan Klein will be very, very frustrated. I think there's a one, only one thing. Full toss, and that's put away. That's a nice shot from Sean Gomez. We might be talking about that run out in the box, but he's got to keep focusing on his game and what's in front of him. It was a bad ball. He put it away nice. Straight drive, and that's one of the shots of the oh. tournament so far. This is absolutely delightful from Sean Gomez. Steps down the track, but he's really miscued this, and yet it still goes. Well, that tells you a lot about the powerful hitting of Sean Gomez. He didn't get all of this at all. He got underneath it and kind of skied it up. Swept away, slog sweep, hit hard. And that is more runs to the Portugal total. Slow ball. Straight towards Midwicked and over his head. Well, that's going to help Portugal even more. And it's Zaib who's now contributing with the hits as well. Quicker ball. Oh, but he's got that just over the head of backward point and it skips away for four. Swept away, mistimed. And a good catch running back. Well judged from Hornweg and big celebrations from the Dutch 11. Some noticeable screams of delight. It's very obvious what that wicket meant to them. It's the end of a very good second wicket stand from Portugal. Oh, but he's gone first ball. It all changes so quickly in T10. And Neil Zetman picks up a wicket as well. It's two wickets in two balls for the Dutch. Slow ball. And this is a catching chance. And it's taken. They've lost another one, Portugal. Suddenly, they're starting to fall like dominoes. 60 for one has become 62 for four. Catching chance, and it's dropped, dropped running in, not an easy one for Max Hornweg. Quicker ball, and it's gone a long, long way up, and it is held. That is very, very good fielding from the captain, Sebastian Bratt, leading by example. He's all smiles now, but this was tricky. There is a bit of a wind out there as well, but Portugal have lost yet another wicket. Goes from his very first ball, Amandeep Singh, but he's out too. So Julian Demay is on a hat-trick. We could have our second ever ECC hat-trick. And it's a golden duck for Amandeep Singh. Short. And the catching chance, maybe. Nope, over his head for six. Well, Shazad firing, but it should be too little, too late. Bar an absolute catastrophe from the Dutch bowling. Skied up, and this... Could be yet another wicket. 
Oh, and that's it's him dropped the... and that's hurt him as well. Well, that's down the ground. Might well have finished the game in style for Portugal. He certainly has, Shazad. They haven't won it, but they've done themselves proud. It is the Netherlands who again, without playing anywhere near their best cricket, have found a way to win. And that's what good teams do. They only managed 110 all out with the bat, but they've restricted Portugal to 90 for six. So it's the Netherlands 11 who grabbed two wins from two.